Hey everybody, Not Nuts here again. We're going to be doing a project from Storm Drain, his uh, paracord woven in half hitch pouch. Uh, before we get started, I want to ask you please to leave comments down below, uh, subscribe to my channel, and or like or dislike. I appreciate comments of a um, uh, productive nature. Don't say, hey, your project sucks, but rather something like, um, uh, the audio quality was not good, or you could improve by using different colors of paracord, or something like that. Okay, so I can make better videos for you guys. Hopefully, you'll enjoy the stuff that I do. Um, a couple other things I want to show you that we need. I'm going to be using two different colors of paracord, and that's not that you need to do it. You can do this from one continuous strand of paracord. The reason I'm doing two different colors is because I left my batteries for my camera and I'm on a business trip I'm in another country I can't replace it so I have to make do with what I have which is the webcam so you're gonna need one or if you want to follow and do exactly what I do two different colors of paracord using two so that you can see better what I'm doing with the inferior camera equipment that I'm going to be working with um, you can use a Pringles can you're going to need to make a jig first you can use a Pringles can or something of that nature um, my first projects I used an Arizona tea can, and I liked the Arizona tea can, but I was afraid the whole time I was weaving the knot around this can that I was using a permalock needle. It's not a permalock, but it's similar. That I was going to puncture the can and I'd get Arizona spew all up in my face. And uh, I don't like um, cold, sticky stuff uh, spewing in my face. Okay, so. Um, Let's get started with the jig. You're going to need something uh, like a dowel rod. You can substitute pens, pencils, uh, whatever. These are 3 8 inch dowel rods, about 8 inches long. Uh, some rubber bands and the Pringles can or the Arizona tea can. I'm going to use the Pringles can this time. We're going to see how this works out. Take your um, Pringles can and hold it the sticks or pins or pencils or clothes hanger wire or whatever you're going to use in here and um, put the rubber band around it so that it's nice and snug. This one's not snug with one wrap so I'm going to put two and then put another one at the bottom or at the other end, whichever end you started with is fine. Okay, alright. So I've got my sticks in here, rubber bands. Now spread these out so that they're kind of evenly placed around the can. They don't have to be exactly even, just get them close enough and that'll be fine. So here I've got my jig all prepared for me to start wrapping cord. Now you're going to want about 45, 42, excuse me, feet of cord. I'm going to show you how you accomplish measuring out a hunk of cord uh, rapidly, which is I'm going to have to step back so you can see what I'm doing here. Okay, drop your cord on the floor or have somebody hold it. And I happen to know that when I hold the end of the cord in this hand and stretch it out to a full arm's length that this cord here from fingertip to fingertip is about 6 feet. And I want about 42 feet of it, so um, I'm going to do that 7 times, right? So that's 1. Two, three, four, five, six, thirty-six, and one more makes forty-two. So mark where your cord ended up at thirty-two feet at, then take it and cut it. You're gonna need a lighter now, or a candle, or matches, or something to seal the ends of these cords with. Whenever you cut cord, immediately seal both ends. It'll help keep the the core fibers in the middle, the white ones in there, and the outer sheath the same length. And it will also keep the sheath from unraveling and leaving a little mess at the end of your cord that's pr virtually unusable. So heat this until it turns into a black molten blob on the end of your paracord. It'll actually start on fire. If it does, 
blow it out let it cool for a couple of seconds 1002 and then pinch it together with your fingers and roll real quick if you do it too quick you will burn your fingers so be careful I've been doing the ends of the cords like this for 20 something years and uh, I still burn my fingers from time to time just be aware that that's going to happen it uh, won't scar you for life and it won't be the end of the world but it is painful so please be careful and do this other end on fire, 1001, 1002, and twist and roll. That one was warm, but didn't burn me. Okay, so I'm just going to throw this aside for now. I'll finish that up later. Okay, so then you want to take your cord, get yourself a little piece of tape. You can use cellophane tape or anything you want, or you can actually just even just use the rubber band that's already around your jig. Okay, so I'm going to say the top of my project is the top of the Pringles can that has the plastic lid on and the bottom is the metal bottom of the normal bottom of the can. So take your paracord and slide it up on the, if you're looking directly at it, the left side of the, the uh, one of the dowel rods or whatever you're using in there and then tape it down so it stays secure in place. You can actually finagle this rubber band here and put just use the rubber band to hold it in place if you want. It doesn't need to be held in place for very long, just long enough to get the project started. So then you want to start wrapping uh, the cord around the Pringles can and it's going to go 32 times. And you want to twist the can with the top of the can rotating towards you. So if I'm looking down at it like this from the top, it's rotating in a clockwise direction. And you want to do it this way rather than wrapping it this way. Let me, rather than wrapping it around this way because this way will put twists in the cord and your project will come out lumpy and uneven eventually. So if you do it this way, it'll come out a little bit more even. So just wrap it around a bunch of times and you want to make sure that uh, it's not tight around the can and it's not loose so just make sure that it's uh, firm and what I mean by firm is that if I stop wrapping this right now and gently hold this down that the, the wraps that I've already put in here are not falling down they're kind of held in place but if I wanted to I could easily adjust them up and down on one of the duct rods if I needed to so that's about the firmness that you need um, so that's one of the beginning when you're doing this uh, paracord rope work macrame kind of stuff that's one of the hardest things to learn in the beginning is to get the tension on whatever project you're making just right and just right is even tension throughout the project so if you start off tying your project loosely uh, make sure that the middle and the end of the project are tied the same way or tight same thing so if you start off with it real tight not real tight uh, finish it that way and so that's the secret for getting your work to come out looking evenly and if you start off real tight and then end real uh, loose you'll have a nice firm knot at the top and a big floppy knot at the bottom which nobody likes a big floppy knot right unless it's floppy the whole length of your knot so keep twisting this keep twisting this <coughs> another note is that you don't really need to use 42 feet if you're going to do two different colors 42 feet is what about what you're going to need for a single strand of paracord <coughs> also worthy of mention the uh, project that I'm doing is going to be for a can koozie so I'm custom making it to, it to that size uh, you can use a smaller or bigger jig to customize this project and more or less wraps around the can for your specific needs I think I'm getting pretty close to 32 wraps so I'm gonna see how I'm gonna count how many I have now and if you want a uh, neat trick if you use your finger to count these or your eyes it seems like my eyes lose track of which how 
how many I've counted when I get somewhere here in the middle, but if you lose, use something like this and kind of feel the bumps as you go, it helps. So I've got one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, times as fast. 